thoughts on so okay, so far? Uh, it's been fun. I've been enjoying and a couple of eyes and a couple of practices, a lot of new guys, and yeah, it's been fun. Can you explain, if you can, the difference between playing with the Marlies? It's such a fine line with the Leafs. What, what do you see as the big difference between you know, the Marlies to the Maple Leafs? Uh, there's uh, a lot of things, of course, but I need to be more physical and stronger and leave it better, I think so. How do you feel that your time with the Marlies last year has helped you develop into this year? I think it's it was very good for me. I enjoyed it a lot and there's a lot of good things and it's much easier to go now in August. What are you trying to take away from this camp in specific? Try, try to learn new things on the ice and to try to give some details for me what I could do in back in Finland. That's the biggest thing. Maybe. Haley, you want, Haley wants people to steal something from other players. What have you noticed in terms of what you might be able to steal from another player? Of course, there's a lot of things that I can do better, and I can watch other guys how they're doing their things, and yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things. Is there anything in specific? Or? <sighs> yeah, some guys are just like skating so well, so okay. it's fun to see how they're skating and play one against one against Demon. How was the cooking class yesterday? What did you learn? Uh, it was fun. We were cooking some Mexican food, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Are you a good chef? Can you cook? Or? Yeah, yeah, I'm an awesome chef. Have you had a chance to watch players like Easton Cowan? What's your thoughts on a young player like that coming up? Yeah, he's a great young player and like great future and yeah, it's been fun to watch him. You're gonna be, I heard, go-karting, going up to the CN Tower. Are you excited to do all that stuff in Toronto? Yeah, for sure. I've been CN Tower once before and I, I think we have dinner there, so it's fun. Um, this is your second dev camp, right? Yeah. How do you feel your game's evolved over the last year? Yeah, I think it's improved a lot. Um, I think I did my squad in Chicago did a great job with development over the last year, so uh, I think it's improved a lot. You know, I can kind of tell from just being on the ice this year, it's, it's a little bit different, so um, I think it's improved a lot. What do you hope to take away this year? Yeah, I mean, I think same focus as last year. I think just trying to be a sponge the, the whole camp. Um, they do such a great job with development here in Toronto, so I think just taking in everything they have to offer, you know, as well as picking up little things that other guys do really well on the ice and uh, almost being a thief and stealing some of their tricks, so I think that's my main focus. You're beginning a new phase of your career heading into NCAA. Why did you make that decision? I know you took a while to make that call, and what excites you about playing for Michigan? Yeah, no, I'm pumped. Um, I think my education's always been super important to me, so I'm super excited about going to university in the States, and um, it's, it's not too far from home, so my family and friends will be able to come up and, and see me play a lot, which is going to be awesome, you know, big family guy, so that's going to be really cool for me, and a little bit closer than Chicago this year, so yeah, I'm happy about that too. Speaking of hometown, you're from Mississauga. What's it like to wear the leaf on your chest, even just in dev camp and just being here? Yeah, no, it's surreal. Um, it doesn't even feel real sometimes, you know, of growing up watching all, all the Leafs guys play and I've uh, been a fan ever since I was a little kid. So uh, it's, it really is surreal just being able to be here and wear the logo on my chest. What worked specifically for you in Chicago last year? Um, I think just playing a pro style of game. Uh, I think that was a big, big focus for me last year. Um, just trying to build habits throughout the course of the season that'll that'll translate into into pro and in, into the NCAA. So I think that definitely gave me success and was a big focus for me. Has there been anything like Haley said to you about like what you need to work on or anything like that in development camp and throughout the summer? Yeah, I think for her, her main focus for me is just to soak everything in um, and and just give 100 percent, 100 percent of the time. So. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do that exactly and uh, have a good time here as well. What have you noticed about playing with some veteran guys who may have been through this before when you're at the pro level? What's the big difference between that and the NCAA? Yeah, I think um, definitely bigger, stronger, faster, but I think it elevates my game as well. Um, I think just being able to play with, with these high caliber players is, is elevating my game and, and making me a better player. So um, it's been good so far and I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. And when you talk about bigger, stronger, faster, there are obviously taller guys than you and I. Well, yeah. how, how does a player of your height play as well as you do against bigger, taller guys? Like yeah, I think just play to my strengths. You know, um, I think those guys are, are not always going to be too quick on their feet. So I think that's one thing I, I can focus on is beating them wide and, and tight turns and cutbacks and stuff like that. But um, I, I don't think too much of it. I just go out there, play my game, have fun, and, and don't think a whole lot about it.